hi, do you have low back pain or have you had low back pain? Chances are you have. Low back pain is actually second below heart disease only in U.S. for expense and healthcare. So stay tuned for simple tips and great ideas from Dr. Annie on how to help your low back pain uh, now and in the future. Welcome to Sage Health TV. I'm Dr. Angela Yeagley, and today I'm here with my wonderful friend um, and colleague, Dr. Annie Armstrong of Head to Toe Spine and Sports Clinic. Did I get that right? Yeah, sort of. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I have known Dr. Annie for a while, and she is, um, I refer to her often um, for a range of conditions um, and absolutely trust her with my people. And she does, she, Dr. Annie and her team do an amazing job um, of really being very comprehensive, I've, I feel like, in their evaluation and their treatment. Um, so uh, tell me, to take a, just a few seconds and, and tell me a little bit about you yeah. and, uh, and your amazing experience. Oh, well, first, thank you. Yes, you know, it's a pleasure course. to be here. It's really, really fun yes. to talk about this together and vice versa. You know, we have a referral relationship and, yeah. and more, of course, but, yes. but um, you know, sending my patients over to your clinic has been really a gift as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my clinic is um, really a different type of chiropractic clinic. Yes. We are I would agree with that. Yes. But, um, you know, we look at uh, chiropractic as a piece of our manual therapy mm -hmm. toolkit. Mm -hmm. And so we're really interested in figuring out um, if someone has a deficient movement pattern, mm -hmm. which is something that a lot happens to a lot of us over time, just mm -hmm. life, wear and tear, sports injuries, other things like that, we can get get altered way that our muscles work for us. Mm -hmm. So we want to identify what that is, and because um, that's really kind of root cause stuff. Because if yes. you fix something and it, it comes back again, it's like, mm -hmm. well, we're obviously missing something. Yes, okay. you know, especially in you know those of us who are kind of in the middle of life, right. you know, where we've developed these patterns. I mean, kids are a little different because they're they're so responsive and yes. quick. Oh, yeah, but but. But yeah, we're really looking at kind of the whole picture. We, we, we spend a lot of time in our clinic at, um, you know, using soft tissue, doing soft tissue work mm -hmm. because we think that's such a huge player. It I is. mean, muscles move bones, in my opinion, so mm -hmm. you can't do one without the other. Mm -hmm. So we really put it all together. So we're looking right. at increasing mobility through manual therapy and then using, you know, doing stability, doing really great rehab yes. and kind of nailing down those patterns and... Getting people healthy and keeping them healthy. Yes, right. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's, and I have to say, that's exactly why I love you guys, you know, and when I tell people, when I'm telling patients like about you, um, and we'll get into today, we're going to be talking about low, chronic low back pain, but yeah, but I just want to really say this because um, your team and your approach is actually, I feel like kind of rare yeah. and that, um, you know, I know that people do enjoy sometimes just the, you know, the crack, 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 and then they're, yeah. they're out of there. Um, but really for, like you're saying, your long-term health, you know, long-term benefit, mm -hmm. um, you really want somebody who is going to look at you head to toe and address every area because every area is connected. Right? Absolutely. So, and it is, I mean, absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. an adjustment feels fantastic and mm -hmm. that's why it's such an important piece of our toolkit. Right. It's just not the only piece. Right. Um, yes. and I think, you know to be honest, most injuries, especially if we're going to get into low back, you know, most injuries we see are not from like, oh, I slipped and fell and put my back out of place. Right. Yeah. It's stuff that's built up over time mm -hmm. and it's so much deeper to fix than just an adjustment yes. because adjustment, yeah. it resets our skeletal system, but then it's not looking at our nervous system, obviously to a great degree, but it doesn't look at all the other pieces of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I find people, I, I'm, you know, not to diverse too much, but people get frustrated with chiropractors. Yes. I think you're, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. They're so, the treatment is repetitive and they're like, mm -hmm. you know, I did the same thing every time. Mm -hmm. It was like the adjust this side, adjust this side, flip it over, adjust this side, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. go back twice, three times a week. Mm -hmm. And it never seemed to end. And it kind of didn't, I felt great for two hours or two days mm -hmm. and then it came back. Yeah. So they're kind of like, oh, this is, yeah, this, this is not work. working for yes. me. Yes. Um, so people are always looking for like something and, you know, we need to cement that in mm -hmm. their body so that they, because mm -hmm. no one should have to get treated all the time. Right. All the time for the sense. rest of their life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't make any sense. You have to yeah. look after your body. Yes. Absolutely. But, yeah. but continual treatment is not, not our goal. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's yeah. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I would say my, my people, my patients have had that experience with you, which Good. is fantastic. Um, so let's get into today. We're going to talk about, um, 
chronic low back pain, uh, which is different from the, what we would call the acute back, Mm -hmm. which is somebody all of a sudden they wake up and they absolutely cannot get out of bed. So we're not really touching on that today. Um, although possibly if a couple of the techniques might apply, um, So chronic low back, I mean, this is something that's probably going to be developing for this person over, it's slowly increasing over time, Mm -hmm. you know, and there are several elements that then contribute to having a chronic low back pain. And so can you walk us through like the standard pattern that you see in a chronic low back pain person? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, there is, and I'm glad you said standard because a lot of us are coming in with it. A lot of patients come in with a similar complaint, Mm -hmm. you know, so there's Mm -hmm. really sort of repeatable processes going on. And I mean, the Yes. Big, the big one is is sitting. Sitting mm-hmm. is obviously, you know, and I should backtrack, not just sitting, but sitting incorrectly, mm-hmm. you know, specifically. Right. So, um, you know, when you, when you look at the spine, it's really a system of curves, right? Mm-hmm. And our lumbar spine should have a little bit of a curve to mm-hmm. it, you know, and if you feel, if you look at yourself in the mirror from the side, you probably see that you have a little one. Mm-hmm. If you see you don't have any, then mm-hmm. you, you might think oh, maybe something's going on or maybe this is your shape. You know, it's hard sometimes to say, but, you know, you're, you're looking at sitting, most people sit with that curve dumped out so they turn their low back which should be a curb into mm-hmm. a c mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and they slouch down in their chair and they and they're in a c shape mm-hmm. and that over time um really begins to stretch out that posterior aspect of our disc and just mm-hmm. to backtrack so the disc mm-hmm. is you know like we we like to use the analogy of a jelly donut in clinic right so it's a yeah. like a jelly donut and the inside of the jelly is the is the nucleus mm-hmm. like inside the disc and the outside of the of the donut is the is the is the um, outside of the disc right mm-hmm. so what happens is when we sit in the c is that annular fibers of the outside of the disc stretches mm-hmm. which is not good it's yes. not good, yes. Yes. but you know, it's being pulled on is right. the shape of her back right. and, it, and it's being pulled on slowly. It's called a mm-hmm. viscoelastic creep. Mm-hmm. That's not like that's that's a that important, but it's, yeah, a right. Term, right? <laughs> it's a slow stretch right. on that fiber that is really a tough, tough fiber. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it becomes dysregulated, mm-hmm. right? And then, and one more thing to note. So the inside of that disc isn't, doesn't have nerves, mm-hmm. but the outside does. Mm-hmm. So as that jelly starts oozing into that dysregulated annulus, mm-hmm. then we start to feel some pain. And that mm-hmm. is a lot of, that's over 50% of our back pain right there. Mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. other piece of it, I think, is the hips. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And then hips and then the upper back, right? Mm-hmm. So we're looking at the body as this really interrelated system of moving parts. Mm-hmm. And the hips need to be very mobile and very strong. Mm -hmm. And most people have very stiff hips. I'm sure you see that all the time as well. They're Mm -hmm. kind of undercared for, they're stiff, Mm -hmm. they're mobile, some not very mobile Mm -hmm. and sometimes they're weak. Mm -hmm. And then the upper back is also stiff. I mean, we're right. like a computer, we're yes. all forward of our body, our upper back. We don't think right. about it. Right. We think, oh, my neck hurts, right? Yes. Or my yeah. low back. But we don't think about our upper back. Mm-hmm. So the low back itself doesn't need... It's not designed to move a lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know that too, right? Mm-hmm. It has it has forward bending, a little bit of extension, mm-hmm. not a lot of rotation. Right, right. The hips immensely mobile, mm-hmm. and the upper back should be very mobile. Mm-hmm. So those two parts go, and then the low back has too much mm-hmm. movement forced through it. Right. And so right. people are sawing away at one area over and over again, mm-hmm. which causes joint irritation. And it furthers that maybe underlying disc irritation. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, that's, that's most people. Yeah. That's most yeah. people. It, for the origin of that kind of chronic yeah. pain that for them, it feels maybe like you said, almost like that say that term is really good, like a slow creeping pain. Yeah. And, and likely because again, most people are not everyone, but do have desk jobs. They're sitting yeah. they're probably, they know they have maybe the poor posture, you know? Yeah. Um, and, but it, I mean, it doesn't all it have to be that it can be, also from old injuries or, um, or other, you know, misuse if they're, if they're playing a sport or, um, and, or again, not addressing their body in any other way. Yeah. It's always, it's almost always a buildup. I mean, and, and what happens for patients is they're like, they kind of, they've noticed maybe they're a little stiff, a little cranky Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they bend down to put laundry in or they pick up a file off the floor and bam. Yeah. Right, they are in agony. Yeah, and and that's what they relate. They're like, Doctor Annie, I just bent down to do this. I didn't do anything more, and right, and I can't move. Right, you know. Right. I mean, this happened to us. Just the a patient just 
just from the other couple, well, this week, I think, uh, he came in and same thing, you know, he had just mm-hmm. done a little bit of gardening, just pulled a couple of weeds and he's mm-hmm. an ex, uh, you know, uh, collegiate baseball player, you know, oh, yeah. but it wasn't working out that much anymore. And, yeah. you know, kind of not paying attention to that, a lot of stress, getting married, all this sort of mm-hmm. situation, yeah. just did a little thing. And all of a sudden he was out, yeah. you know, he's like, but, you know, in the clinic, we worked on his hips. Interesting. Um, and a lot of people hips. don't think about that. Right? <laughs> we worked on his yes. flexors, which yeah. are really short. You know, the muscles in the front mm-hmm. of your body. We worked on his upper back. We did cupping therapy, which oh. you're familiar with. Yes. Which, well, you'll have to explain that yeah. for people so, that don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that was the time, but cupping, you know, kind of, you know, got claim to fame over Michael Phelps in mm-hmm. the Olympics, right? right. Everyone's like, right. he looks like he was attacked by an octopus. What happened? Yes. Right. Yes. And those big cups are like big silicon bowls. Yes. And essentially you put it on that in this case, we put it on the low back uh, fascia, mm-hmm. and it tense it up, so it mm-hmm. pulls all that blood into that fascia, right? Um, and it brings all that great healing voodoo in yes, there, right? And then we move them yeah. around. It just it just increases. It speeds up healing so much. Yes, yeah, and, and so, it's actually an old Chinese it's medicine old. therapy. It 3,000 years old. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know that. That's yes. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so 3,000 year old therapy, yes. yeah. you know, coming to life really in yeah. modern it's, sports it's medicine. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's just like, I mean, within one visit, he was so markedly better. Oh. It was fantastic. And Amazing. that's, you know, and that's incredible. It's, it's hip, you know, hips and yeah. Yeah. Cupping and hip flexors. And, and I, and I'm not saying that women can't have this, but especially I feel like men are especially tight in the hips. Like, yeah. and, and I don't know if it's just, again, women are just a little more flexible or we pay attention, you know, because we're a little more flexible, but I don't know. I tend to see that not yeah. saying that women can't have it, although yeah. maybe you don't agree. Like, I don't yeah, know. you yeah. know, I mean, I, I guess I'm sort of, it's a hard stat for me because I do mm-hmm. see more women yeah. because women yeah. do look after themselves a little bit more. So right. guys, Maybe. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mean, they yeah. do tend to like, That's Oh, true. I'm hurting. I'm going to go, I'm going to go yeah. look after this. Whereas yes. guys are like, eh, I think it's, you know, it's going to go away in another 10 yeah. years yeah. or whatever. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm going to put some eyes on it. Yeah. I'm going to be going, darn yeah. it. I got to go away. Dang it. No, I know. You know? Right. Yeah. But that's the view. Most guys are like a little slower to come in. Right. Not all for right. sure. But, right. but you know, it's funny, but, but women, no, I think I find, well, women's, it's interesting because there is mm-hmm. a little bit more of the hyper mobility. Mm-hmm. Some women mm-hmm. like being really flexible, which mm-hmm. is sometimes really tough. Like yeah. that's kind of the tougher end of it than stiff, you know, because then their muscles are taking up all that force. Yeah, you know, and they're 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 a little bit more ligament lax, mm-hmm. and their muscles are doing way more to try to protect them. Mm-hmm. And if they get deconditioned or lose some of that endurance in their mm-hmm. back and hips, then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, they get and it's the same. Yeah, it's kind it gets of an a same issue, right? Right. Yeah. So tight hips and women, pretty common. The same thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say I see less of it. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so when someone's coming, like, or if you're initially, you know, I know. Actually, I want you to talk about something today. I think is really cool. Um, your new your low back pain module. Yeah. Um, where you're going to be walking people through, right? Like how to like the initial like how to begin to think about caring for your low back. Um, mm-hmm. And then, so talk a little bit about that. And then also let's let's talk a little bit about. Like when you're initially just starting to obviously examining people is the best way Mm -hmm. because everybody's individual, you know, and you're going to be able to pick up on all those other things that one person has, you know, that another person might not have, like depending on a, you know, a short leg or, you know, one neck is more significantly rotated Mm -hmm. and another or, or past injuries. I mean, you know, the list goes on, right? But there might be a couple of common things that someone could do with a chronic low back. So. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's get into that. First, tell me a little bit about your module. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's been a, it's been a labor of love for sure. Yes. And so, you know, I mean, I do agree that coming into the clinic is the best thing that can happen. You Agreed. know, come in and get yes. a diagnostic and get yes. a workup. But a lot of people don't have that ability. Right. And with insurance getting just horrible. Yeah. You know, it's often yeah. just prohibitively expensive for people. Their insurance doesn't pay. They're not here. Right. They're traveling long ways. Yes. Right. Um, so there's, and then the other thing, you know, I mean, I've spent years as you have like studying and mastering and I've studied under Stuart McGill who's Mm -hmm. used used absolutely the leading low back researcher um Mm -hmm. in um, period you know I've learned so much from him Mm -hmm. and Craig Liebenson Philip Snell all these great people who Mm -hmm. I've studied under but what we all have noticed and certainly is that there's a lot of repeatable patterns Mm -hmm. which we kind of got into a little bit so my course is really designed for those people who have that sort of moderate low back pain 
is with them a little bit all the time. Mm-hmm. They might have some aching in their hip. Usually, actually, they usually always have some aching in their hip. Generally, especially yeah. women. Guys, sometimes don't notice it until you get in there, but women mm-hmm. always, they might have a little pain in the front of their hip, mm-hmm. little deep posterior buttock pain, mm-hmm. really common. Mm-hmm. Um, and these are the people that I've just seen over and over again with really, like sort of really simpler stuff mm-hmm. really respond well. Interesting. And a lot of it, like when we go backtrack to that disc, that visco stretch and that mm-hmm. dysregulated disc, mm-hmm. that disc needs time to heal. Mm-hmm. And to heal properly, it needs not to be continually stretched. Mm-hmm. So we don't want to poke the bear, mm-hmm. right? So we don't want to take someone who's like a kind of a hot, hot disc sort of disc issue going on, mm-hmm. which is again, over 50% of all patients, if you're over 40, you mm-hmm. probably have a little disc issue. Mm-hmm. Um, and we don't want to go and aggressively manually adjust them and right. you know, do a ton of soft tissue work right on the spot because mm-hmm. it's just going to irritate it. Mm-hmm. But if that person learns how to move properly, mm-hmm. so they don't hurt themselves and learn how to sit, right. roll over, brace, mm-hmm. and they start to learn learn how to release their key patterns of soft tissues. Oh, yes. Right? right. And then their key stability exercises. That's going to get a lot of people better. It's a amazing. lot of people better. Right. Um, and so that's what the, the course is about. Um, nice. It's, it's, it's really I put together the, the best of the best, the best mm-hmm. kit that will mm-hmm. work for so many people because mm-hmm. I've, I've done it now over and over and over again mm-hmm. with huge success. Fantastic. You know, so it's like teaching people how to do that on their own. But the biggest piece of it is definitely that, like, here's how you need to sit. Mm-hmm. Here's how you need to bend. Mm-hmm. Here's how you need to brace yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and then some tips, obviously, what to do if your back is, like, really blowing up on you. Right. Like, how do you get that pain to calm down? Right. But And it sounds like this even could be applicable, I mean, to your people that you're seeing. Yes. You know, someone who's actually seeing, you know, working with a chiropractor right now. Um, and, and as you said, for people that, um, for some reason, whatever reason, is that you're unacceptable or they just don't have access to someone to walk them through all these things. Yeah. Um, you know, certainly my patients in the clinic get this already. Right. You know, that yeah. this is their tape home. This, I mean, that's why I designed it like it oh, is. It's nice. like, if, if you're going through a six visit protocol with me, which mm-hmm. is normally what I need to see a low back case mm-hmm. for, mm-hmm. this is what I'm going to have taken you through. Mm-hmm. Um, Interesting. Um, yeah. That's why so, I, and again, another reason I love you is yeah. all the all the teaching and the training and the, you know, I feel like you really empower your patients. So I try to because yeah. I want I really want them to stay. I love them, but I don't want to yeah. see them all the time. That's what I'm yes, right. like, you know, let's let's check in a couple like years or something. Right, you know, right, like, right. I really want them to have their their tools. Yes. And I and I do and I, and again, you know, as you've said, nothing replaces good di- diagnostics. You know, so yes. if if someone's got kind of a mystery back or they've been to a lot of therapy already Mm -hmm. and um they're just really frustrated and maybe there's something that that needs to be seen Mm -hmm. obviously to figure out what really is the generator maybe their foot isn't working properly right you know there can be many levels of yeah and people don't always think about that like right you know because again just sort of touching you mentioned earlier like the whole connection you Mm -hmm. know if yes if your foot is hurting a lot of times people won't think about that if the foot is is uh, needs to be adjusted or there's plantar fasciitis or that obviously it can over time radiate yeah i mean the way you walk it changes the way you walk right and And the foot i mean is is the kingpin right we won't get into the foot talk today right i I know it's another talk but really it's how you know how it lands Mm -hmm. is going to innervate the muscles for your legs your hips right Right. so it drives all that patterning of muscles right right? so if you have like continual knee pain you probably have well, you probably have a couple things, but foot is yeah. maybe one of them. Yes. You know? Yeah. So I think you asked me for some easy tips. Sure. Yes. Better. Love it. Yes. <laughs> well, so for everybody, if you've got a foam roller, like pull it out of the cupboard. Oh, like, yes. like, oh yeah, I've got one of those. And how? It's in my cupboard. <laughs> they're going to, where would they be getting those from if they don't have one? Like, oh, you know. Go? Anywhere. Amazon, oh, okay. my clinic, I have them yes. there, okay. you know, but always, always some people buy the good hard ones, you know, for this type mm-hmm. of work, you know, mm-hmm. there's obviously the sort of the superficial myofascial treatments as well, mm-hmm. which is different. Mm-hmm. The melt method is an extraordinary, whole different protocol, but you know, for the stuff that replicates what we do in clinic, we're looking mm-hmm. at that hard roller because mm-hmm. we're getting into that myofascia, deeper layers. Nice. Um, yeah. So Amazon. Okay. They're, they're inexpensive, mm-hmm. you know, it's a great place to get them. And then, um, certainly if your, if your back is hurting, you foam roll your quads out. Oh, I've got lots of videos on Facebook That's for foam rolling, yeah. um, but foam rolling your quads out, foam roll your, your hip flexors on the mm-hmm. side of your hip, mm-hmm. um, is really important where you put your hands in your pocket. There's that little muscle there. That's mm-hmm. just a kingpin for 
your low back pain. Mm, yeah, that's, your TFL. Oh, it's messy. Yes. That's you know, I call it. Oh, yes. you know, it sounds like a Starbucks coffee drink. Right, right. Tensor Fashion Lotta. <laughs> I'll have that Tensor Fashion Lotta, please. <laughs> or your IT band. Yeah. You know, somebody right. Yeah. yeah. Muscle yeah. through piece of your IT band, yes. right? And it yeah. does way too much work for your, yes. for usually your tight hip flexors, front body. Yeah. So um, getting that rolled out. But mm-hmm. quads are a big play. Interesting. You know? Yeah. And then fantastic. rolling your upper back out a little bit. Yeah. Calves. We'll end up then, yeah, that makes sense, releasing your low mm-hmm. back. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's yeah. an, that's an, Easy thank tip. you. It's an excellent Easy tip. tip. Yes. Yeah. Everybody should definitely write that down and go yeah. check out Dr. Annie's videos. As she mentioned, she does have foam rolling videos that people can access. Yeah. To Lots of goodies see. on Facebook. Lots of goodies on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. See how to do that exactly. If you're not familiar with that already. Um, well, thank you so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Yes. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate yeah. it. It's always, uh, always always a pleasure seeing you and how would people find you um well um head to toe head to toe spinal sports therapy mm-hmm. um and your it, website is head to toe spine head okay. to toe spinal sports therapy.com okay um no i just said that wrong i was i thought it was something clinic. <laughs> Okay, see, I, I was going to the master there. 425 <laughs> 776 2936 is my phone number. Um, awesome. And you can link to Facebook there. Okay. Um, and then Facebook will have, that's where we put our, we put, Lots of exercises on Facebook, lots of tips, lots of foam rolling, lots yeah, of goodies. Great. You know, we try to oh, keep, love keep goodies. people doing stuff. Yes, I think we're yes. doing oh, we hip flexors just a couple days ago, actually, oh, with some really nice, nice stretches for hip flexors. Oh, I like it's it. It's great for your low back. Yes. Yes. So. Absolutely. Well, definitely check that out. And yeah. uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, you can also find us at sagemedclinic.com, and we will see you soon. Take care.